New on News Press Now at 9, hundreds visited the new Amelia Earhart Hangar Museum in Atchison. And uh, that's on its opening day to learn about her life in a creative way. Many community members gathered at the Amelia Earhart Memorial Airport to pay tribute to the finished project, including area children, students from Atchison Elementary, Trinity Lutheran School, and St. Benedict's Catholic School. They all joined together to sing the national anthem during the dedication. The kids were excited to be part of a truly special day for the Atchison community. So pleasant because I would be like one of the only people in the world to experience the first opening of the Amelia Earhart Museum. Amelia Earhart means a lot to me. Uh, she did grow up here in our hometown of Atchison and it's just really cool to come out and see all they've accomplished through the past five years of putting in their hard work into this museum. It's good for them. The museum is now open to the public but before it opened this afternoon News Press Now got an exclusive look at the new attraction our Riley Funk reports from Atchison, Kansas on what patrons can expect. Atchison, Kansas now has a main attraction in honor of its most famous icon, Amelia Earhart. Located at the Memorial Airport named in her honor, patrons will have the opportunity to walk through the various stages of Amelia Earhart's life. The museum also allows people to learn more about science, math, engineering, and technology. Since Earhart was a trailblazer for women during her time, the museum honors women in Earhart's life and women trailblazers in the modern age. The $17 million project allows for a chance to use state-of-the-art technology to have an interactive experience, one of which involves artificial intelligence. This station here will take your picture and place your computerized face in various different career professions. It even follows your movement. You even get the chance to fly like Amelia, thanks to virtual reality. Oh, well, that's the, oh, that's cool. <laughs> Many of the attractions also portray the life of a pilot during Earhart's time. One of the other opportunities you will have here at the museum is to see what the inside of the planes that Amelia flew looked like. And as you can see, it's pretty crammed. Just like the cockpit being small as well, the windows that pilots had to look out of to see were small as well. The museum also offers the many theories of Earhart's disappearance for all to see. The last leg of the tour will bring you right here where you can personally vote for which theory of Amelia's disappearance you believe in. Let me show you how it works. You go to this interactive screen and click vote now. Click for your own individual vote and then all of these different theories will show up on your screen. From there, you can take this interactive coin like I'm moving around right now and put it into the theory that you believe. From there, all that come through, every patron, every vote will be counted up and the theory results will show right here on the screen. This museum truly is something to behold and experience. People from all across the area are encouraged to come here and enjoy this one-of-a-kind museum. Reporting from Atchison, Kansas, and with Amelia Earhart, I'm Riley Funk, News Press Now. Thanks, Riley. The museum is located at the Amelia Earhart Memorial Airport. It's closed on Monday and Tuesday, but open Wednesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Sunday from noon until 5 p.m. We have more on this story on our website at newspressnow.com.